guys, um, this is just continuing on from the example in class for Math 3272. Let me refresh um, what we were talking about. So we have a G be a group of order 30. In other words, this group has 30 elements. And we use the CELOP theorems well, for 2, 3, and 5. Okay, so we constructed subgroups P2, P3, P5, P2 has two elements, P3 has three elements, P5 has five elements, and the number of conjugates of P2 is congruent to 1 mod 2 and N2 divides 15 and n3 is well it's congruent to 1 mod 3 and divides 10 so basically that tells us that um, that n3 equals 1 or 10 and we found out that n5 was either 1 or 6 Here, N3, I wrote 2, but it should be 10. Sorry about that. Okay. And we want to argue. We want to, our first goal is to show that N3, they can't, like, you can't have both 10 and 6 occurring. Um, and this is kind of like a typical way to apply the CELOP theorems. Okay. So our goal, our first step is to show um, that N3 equals 1, or N5 equals 1, or both. We find, and then if we can do that, then we can construct a subgroup of order 15 of G. And that subgroup will automatically be normal, and it will be a cyclic group of uh, uh, you know, as, as we've seen. Okay. So our, the first step is to show one of these and then we'll um, see how we can construct this group of order 15. Okay. So for a contradiction, suppose N3 equals 10 and N5 equals 6. And now let's count the number of elements of order 3 and the number of elements of order 5 in G. Okay, so, um, each, um, you know, if P3 and P3 prime are both C-Love, three subgroups, rather they're both distinct, let's say, which are distinct, and one thing we can say, well, they have three elements and they're different, their intersection has to be trivial. Because if their intersection would, was not trivial, their intersection would be one of the two, so they would actually be the same. Okay, so then P3 intersect P3 prime would be trivial. And why? Well, or else, um, P3 intersect P3 prime would have th three elements. It can have either one or three elements because P3 intersect P3 prime is a subgroup of P3, which has three elements. So it would have three elements, and that would imply that P3 equals P3 prime. Okay. So any two C love C3 subgroups, um, their only point of intersection is the identity. In other words, um, the two non-identity elements of P3 are not 
don't share anything in common with the two non-identity elements in P3 prime. And so um, each of the 10 different CLOV3 subgroups, um, each of them contains two elements of order three and adding those all up, like um, we don't double count, so we get 20, two times 20. So in all, there are two times 10 equals 20 elements of order three. Okay. Now that leaves There are 10 elements left over. Okay. Um, that's in exactly enough room for uh, for basically um, you know uh, cyclic group of order five and a cyclic group of order two but you know maybe so basically what this tells us is that we should have n5 equals one but let's just continue on with our assumption that n5 equals six and just do the same argument okay and the same thing happens so um so if p5 and p5 and P5 prime are distinct. Um, C law five subgroups. Well, they both have five elements, and their intersection um, has either one or five elements. If their intersection has five elements, well, that means that P5 and P5 prime are the same. And if P5 is not equal to P5 prime, then P5 intersect P5 prime. Let's just trivial. Okay. Again, so that means each distinct C law five subgroups um, contributes four elements of order five to our group G. Okay, so in all, out of the six, the six C law of five subgroups, we have six times four, equals 24 elements of order five. In G, and so, so far we have 20 elements of order three and 24 elements of order five but this is more than the 30 elements of G. So this is a contradiction. So at least one of the two has to be one. So either N5 equals one or N3 equals one, okay. Um, so let me stop the video there and then in the, just a part two of this video, we want to show that we want to construct the subgroup P3 times P5, which has, which will have 15 elements. Okay. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch. Bye.